I'm starting to get like really, really excited about this. This is fun. I'm so happy. You don't understand how happy I am. I'm like in such a good mood from this. I'm getting excited again. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm literally so excited about this. It's so exciting. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this. So much happy. I think I might be excited about this. What do you guys think? Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited about today. I don't have to do any making shulker farms. I can just reap the benefits. <laughs> it's gonna be so refreshing. I think the next thing that I want to do is make a uh, wither skeleton farm. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> so part of the reason why I needed a shulker farm so much was because I, like, the next stuff that I'm going to be doing is, like, all just mining out big areas. So I need some good storage for that, you know? Hey, Ender. What? Uh, so, uh, yesterday, you know? <laughs> Do you know yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> Most of what was on my mind yesterday was just my job. Like, every time I closed my eyes, I just saw sandwiches in front of me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think it's kind of weird that iron golems don't give you EXP. I wonder why that is. Probably because they're good. I mean, like, animals and stuff give EXP. Animals aren't really good, they just don't hurt you. I would say that the animals are better than iron golems. Yeah, but animals don't protect you, now, do they? I mean, iron golems barely protect me. <laughs> they seem to want to kill me more often than protect me. Also, they don't even fight creepers. That's true. Well, because creepers don't attack villagers. So they're not protecting me, they're protecting the villagers. Alright, hey, why do creepers attack you, but not anything else? Racism. I don't know. The same can be said for spiders, too. Spiders are racist? No! I'm, I'm like, they don't attack villagers. And do And do What do you want, Sergeant? <sighs> That's not what I meant to do. Also, why was my sword in there? Did I just hotkey at some point accidentally? Get out of my way, you smelly villager. <laughs> you smell bad and are bad. You are bad. I like the designs on the bottom of shulker boxes. It's like all swirly and stuff, and I think it's cool. Yeah, it does look cool. It's not really something you see too often either. Yeah, because usually that's where it's placed. Yeah. I guess that's what they use to like suction on to the whatever block that they're on, you know? Yeah. Kind of like that's what it, it's kind of like like that. That's kind of like <laughs> what the like lizards like fingertips, the ones that can climb walls. They look like. Yeah. It's too bad that I can't climb walls. I guess I'll have to settle for the ability to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that one is definitely better than the other. I can technically climb walls. Cool. I can also technically fly. So beat that. I can actually fly. Although that wasn't a very good demonstration of it because I just like slammed <laughs> into the uh, one block tall wall. Imagine showing someone in like the 50s a laptop. Like they work years to make like a computer do a calculation and the computer's as big as like a house. Where one bit of storage is like the size of a baseball. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, you show like this little tiny, like little, literally like fits on the, on your thumb, you know, little thin, thin Thing, and it's like this holds like a million times more information than what can fit in your house <laughs> yeah i think that's a cool concept i like that yeah and saying how we went from that to what we have now in 50 years whereas cars have stayed the same what do you mean cars haven't stayed the same well i mean i don't think they've like differed all that much either dude we have electric cars now did you forget oh uh, yeah that's right that's a pretty big innovation. My local theater has an electric car changing station. I don't see anybody at it ever, though. Then again, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're like, electric car changing station. And I just thought of, like, those, like, baby changing stations in bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say charging. Sorry, sorry, I gotta change my electric car's diaper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I meant to say charging. How in the world do you, like, mistype something with your voice? I don't know, man. <laughs> oh yeah, we also had that car with no windows. Wasn't that a thing? Or No, it was that, like, it, we had the polygon car. The cyber truck? Yeah. The one that was like, the guy, uh, he's like, the windows are so, like, they don't <laughs> break and then he like very slightly hit the window and it just completely shattered into a billion yeah. pieces oh yeah we also had those x-ray cars too 
Huh? The ones that were so bright you could see the bones of a deer. Those are just headlights. Yeah, yeah. but like that's still an innovation. <laughs> also, that's not what x-rays are. <laughs> well, look, an x-ray to me is just being able to see bone, okay? I don't actually think that that's very good advertising, being able to see the bones of a cow. Yeah, yeah everybody's it's... response to that was like, okay, so you're just gonna blind everybody on the road? You're gonna cause like damage to people's <laughs> eyes whenever you're driving? Like, yeah, this is- Hey, if you want to be a total jerk to everybody on the road and only care about yourself and make everybody hate you, you should get our headlights. <laughs> like, no thanks, actually. I'd rather be tolerable on the road. I'll break my headlights and tape flashlights to them. That'll help me see. But yeah, cars have innovated. If cars soon get the ability to drive on water, that's when I'll care. That's when you'll care? <laughs> have you ever heard of boats? What? I got the cat in one try. I'll have to be thinking of a good name for it in the meantime. So far, what I'm thinking is sulfur. Because sulfur is like yellowish. Funny camera? All right, let's choose a funny camera. I think that this just makes me look creepy and I don't really like that. What if I made it purple? Hmm, not a fan. I mean, we could always go with this one. Uh, reliable. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I like this. This is funny. Well, <laughs> he owns it now. It's like finding a spider in your house. You good? What in the world? Okay, genuinely, you have to like go on stream and listen to what that sounded like. Hold on, there's blood on my laptop. Let me clean it off first. Oh, that's not good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't see that guy. That scared the crap out of me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hold on a second. <sighs> that literally scared the crap out of me so much. I didn't see that guy. Oh my goodness, my nerves. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not even faking any of that. That was like how much that, like, oh my gosh. <sighs> All right, this is where it gets fun. Oh my gosh. Oh, is that the ceiling? Yeah, I'm at the bedrock ceiling. Nice. It's gonna be so fun. I'm starting to get, like, really, really excited about this. Are you now? Yes. More so than you were before? Well, I mean, I'm actually doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so about here. Okay, I'm fine with this. I'm gonna build a platform that's, like, this amount underneath so that I don't have to worry about, like, stuff falling down or me falling down while I'm mining out above and then at some point i'll just like mine this and then make another thing uh that much further below and it'll work perfectly fine it's kind of like a kind of doing a bit of a long way around but i think that in the long run it'll be more effective because I, first of all i won't lose as much stuff to lava second of all it'll be way easier to mine stuff off the ceilings and that'll be nice to be able to mine stuff off the ceilings just overall i think that it'll work better. Plus, I don't mind building platforms, especially whenever it's like out of full blocks and I have no fear of falling into a void. For context of anybody who's super brand new, I play a lot of Skyblock. <laughs> Hardcore Skyblock stuff. So I spend a lot of my time doing stuff like this, except for if I fall off, then I die. So doing it m no stress is way more relaxing rather than you know, scary, as probably anybody could imagine. I'm wondering if I should supplement the, like, outer edge with netherrack where I need to, because I'm gonna eventually replace it with something else, but, like, having a wall there might be nice. You know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do full block, and then wherever it has full block, then I'm going to fill in blocks like this so that I don't have to worry about having stuff going over the edge. It'll be a little bit more work whenever I actually get into filling it all in with, like, a design but until then it'll be like so much easier this is fun i'm so happy 
You don't understand how happy I am. I'm like in such a good mood from this. Let's try and keep it that way then. Yeah, let's not make any more shulker farms or have to wrangle villagers or anything like that. Although <laughs> wrangling villagers, I might not even mind that just because it's so funny whenever I'm editing. It's like some of my favorite stuff to put in videos. I'm getting excited again. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really that exciting? Yes, of course. It's like this big project that I get to do for a really long time and it's really, it's like kind of relaxing and not stressful to do and the result is going to be really awesome and look amazing and I'm going to be able to actually fully use my like new storage stuff I have access to now. It's like there's so many good things about it. What? I guess you have a point. I've already almost used up half a pickaxe and I've only done this much. It's going to take a lot of pickaxes but I'm honestly fine with that. I forgot to have my stupid day counter up. Sorry guys, that's my bad. Also the music stopped! Everything's going wrong! I mean... Several of the next few massive projects are gonna be just like mining out extremely large areas. I'm gonna calculate this. Yeah, volume of a uh, cylinder is pi times radius squared times height. So the radius is 150 and then the height would be like 120. So, wow. Wait, hold on, times... Oh, okay. So this is gonna be about eight and a half million blocks. Okay, so then this project will take you until pretty much the end of the day. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and then probably a few more ends of the day after that as well. <laughs> An entire shulker box of... Um, stop burning me. Stop it. Stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. You're not even hurting me. It's not even worth it. Okay, cool. And this is why I kept some crack... Cra cra This is why I kept some crafting tables on me. Again? I'm gonna get rid of funny camera for now. There we go. I'm regular sized ender now. Wait a second, when did I get all these? When did I do that? I genuinely have no idea when I did that. I have like six to eight, uh, how many is this, six? Yeah, I had six more pickaxes. What the heck? How did I forget that? How do I not remember doing that? That's weird. Whatever, I'll take it, yeah, honestly. Hmm? I, I said you are weird. Uh, all right, I think this is the earliest that I've ever taken on like a mega project because like the earliest one before was in my 1.14 world where I started mining the 1 million block hole on day mm -hmm. I think it was like 1300 and this is just regular yeah. 300 sets of two seem to be getting more and more frequent Oops, not oops, but like man. I just found it I? I really do be out here finding it for reals, man, huh? And this is where you go. Yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, bro. It really do be that way sometimes. It really do be that way Stop sometimes. letting me give you a script. <laughs> have some more respect than having me tell you what to say. Okay, I'll have some more respect than having you tell me what to say. <laughs> Cool. I guess this is a little nice because I'm not digging in, uh, I'm not like accidentally mining into the wall. Wall. I don't know why I said it that way. Like my mouth didn't have enough room in it or something to say wall properly. Whatever other mob, you know. Cause like I was kind of afraid that, hi. I, I, I'm just saying, you know. Uh, 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 uh. I'm excited to get to the portion where I have to like remove lava lakes. I think that'll be fun. I know that sounds like super long and tedious, but like I, I think that it's interesting to see like a drained lava lake. Uh, where's the temple of Athena located? That's... If it's not in Greece, I'm gonna speak to somebody. <laughs> no, it's in Greece. For a second, <laughs> whenever you said no, I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Frog. Frog. And at this moment, Sergeant went frog mode. <laughs> hey, buddy. What? Is that inaccurate? No. Sergeant in frog mode is a self defense mechanism. I made it the entire way around. Let's go. Whoa, all right. I found some ancient debris all the way up here. I mean, it was bound to happen. It can spawn in any layer. I'm gonna use it as a building block. Some people are gonna be mad that I'm not using TNT, but like, what's the fun in just using TNT? Whatever the thing that you like about it is the, the grindy aspect. I'm so excited about this. Like, look at this big room that I've already cleared out and there's so much more to do. It's gonna be so much fun. How far does this go down? Oh. 
Oh my gosh. Did you hear that? That was... If the mic didn't pick that up, I don't even know what to do anymore. Alright. It's about time that I stop being on fire, I think. Alright, thanks. Okay, I don't know why I haven't done this yet. I was like, just sitting here getting annoyed by the fact that I was out of inventory space instead of actually making inventory space. And I don't know what that says about me, but like... Dang. <laughs> well, Netherrack is my most mined thing now. At... Mm -hmm. 31313. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be so huge. I'm literally so excited about this. I know I've talked so much about this already, but like, I- you don't understand. It's so exciting. If you're only a little bit wrong, then you're stupid. But if you're super wrong, then you're funny. Turt stomper. Are you crushing turts? I am stomping turts. I'm playing hockey, and I named my character Turt Stomper. Stomp a turty for me. When he- when he goes out to stomp a turt, he knows that he, he may, may die. die. Hey, how cool is Mario? He's just a one percenter of a more privileged variety. The life per kind. Perchance. <laughs> perchance, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> how well did you entertain the viewers? Ah, welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> did you have a nice trip? <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine me editing this, and like, I leave, and then you say nothing, and then like, so it actually seems like we both left. Unless yeah. you actually did entertain people. Yeah? <laughs> Sergeant. I'm sorry. <laughs> you had one job. I'm sorry. I mean, you already know that. Hey, I, like I got ancient derbis. I think that I'm gonna finish my watermelon first, though. You eating watermelon? No. Why would you think that? <laughs> Wait, I thought you didn't care much for watermelon. Why? I don't know, I just remember you saying that at some point. No, you don't. Uh, yes, I, I do, but I guess I was wrong. I mean, that would mean that you don't remember it, because remembering it implied that it happened and... Okay, well, I thought it then, okay? Dude, I love watermelon. Okay, well, maybe that was someone else that I was talking to that said they didn't like it. I don't like bananas and oranges. Oh, okay. I don't I... care much for bananas either. I put it in a video. We watched it together, Sergeant. Uh, but I do like oranges. <clears throat> Although I do prefer orange flavored things and orange juice over the actual fruit. Yeah, but I think that's just because of the reasons that I was giving in the video. It, exactly those reasons. But I still will eat an orange. Oh my gosh. Oh, also oranges are just annoying to peel. You said that so aggressively, like you had a <laughs> vengeance for peeling oranges. Why should I have to peel an orange whenever there's such a mediocre fruit inside? Oranges and bananas you have to peel. I don't think anything bad would happen if you ate the skin, but I, I guess it's like eating the leaf on top of a cake. It's just not something people normally do. The leaf on a cake? Yeah. A cake? Yeah. Like whenever fancy restaurants give you like a slice of cake, they'll put a leaf on it. Oh, I was like, you know that cake isn't a vegetable, right? It doesn't like grow on things. They don't have like, they don't naturally grow leaves. I got so confused for a minute. Like I've been mining for like however many hours. This is going to fill up half of a double chest. Isn't that cool? It's insane. I just think that's so cool. And like the number of shulker boxes that I've used so far, I can gain back the number of shulker shells in like probably 20 seconds. <laughs> you don't understand how good this storage system is! It's so amazing! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. So much happy. I wonder if doing this ups your, um... Sorry, as I was saying, hold on. I was gonna say, I wonder if this, like, increases your saturation. Maybe. That'll be pretty cool in my opinion! I think that'd be cool. I <laughs>